We are very, very blessed to have um, a, a young man who, in my mind, is a hero and an angel. Um, the young man that you're going to hear from tonight, if, if there are any Hollywood agents in the house, you will sign this young man up. Hi, everyone. Thank you for inviting me to speak to you this evening. As mentioned in my introduction, I am 12 years old and live with my grandmother, Nani, and my sister, Ariana. When I was born, my mother was addicted to alcohol, a terrible disease that caused her and our family a lot of heartache for many years. She tried many times to recover from her alcoholism, and by the time my sister was born, she was almost there. Unfortunately, a medical error took her life just after she gave birth to Ariana. I was only four years old at the time. My father died shortly thereafter. He also suffered from alcoholism and died of a heart attack. My nanny learned that I had fetal alcohol syndrome, FAS, when I was three years old. She got us involved with NOFAS and the FASD community right away, and being part of the supportive group of people has been very helpful to us. We were guided to Kennedy Krieger in Baltimore, and we also participate in local FASD support group. Nani also goes to conferences and learns a lot about FAS research, which is very important. I attend a special education school in Washington, D.C., and because of my FAS, I need a lot of support. I have a full-time aide in the classroom. Thankfully, we have educated my teachers about FAS, and because of that, I am able to succeed in school, and I am even in the gifted and talented program. I enjoy technology, sports, reading, and collecting things. My biggest challenge is learning to control my impulses and staying focused. Sometimes it feels like my brain is going a mile a minute. And if there are any noises in the background, I get really frustrated and cannot focus and sometimes have a meltdown. Because of the damage to my brain, I take many medications to help me focus during the day and sleep at night. I am grateful that so many people want to find ways to help women who are addicted to alcohol and ways to help their children who are affected by their drinking. I hope that one day a cure will be found for children with with FAS so that we don't have to struggle with everyday tasks. I believe more resources need to be devoted to helping children like me so that in school we will have the programs and help we need to succeed. It is good to help the mothers and women who will be mothers in the future, to educate them about drinking while they are pregnant and also important to remember those of us who are already born with FAS to find innovative ways to help our brains. I hope by hearing me speak tonight, you have a better understanding on how FAS affects a child's brain and life. Thank you all for being here tonight to support these efforts, and thank you to the organizer, organizers of tonight's event and NOFAS for all their good work. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you, Nicholas. Nicholas, you are a real inspiration. Thank you for your story and for talking to us tonight.